Good morning. It is a very cloudy day. And unfortunately, it's not supposed to bring us any rain. The fields are really, really dry. We're still setting plants on the other side of the road. But right now, I am over here with the big tote and trying to put some water into this ground. Our peppers are shriveled a little bit and their little flowers, some of them are dying. So that's a good indicator that they're way too dry. The zinnias up there, well you can't see them from here, but the zinnias, the bottom leaves are turning yellow. You can see just a little bit of drizzle. Unfortunately, that's that's not going to amount to anything. <laughs> but um, I'm going to say we're going to say what we can. What we're noticing with these zinnias are still looking really good. They are not struggling so much with the leaf mold. Those in that upper row, they are struggling with the leaf mold. Chelsea sprayed them this morning with neem oil, and that should help a bit. Hopefully this little bit of a drizzle won't wash much of it off. These guys look good, but they're just sparse, and they're still very short. So come on guys, grow, 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 grow. But um, you can see our, our bell peppers are looking really nice. They're growing. And I went through and broke up the ground around the bottom of the plant so that they, you can see our, our soil is clay. It's, it's pretty, pretty impacted. I broke up the ground around those straw flowers too. And then the, the lower row of um, peppers. So that will allow the water to soak in when I do water here in a few minutes. But uh, we just want these guys to really produce well. We'll probably be taking some of them that are ready. The bell peppers are not ready yet. They take longer. But we do have some natapenos and some banana peppers that are ready to take to market. So we'll take those with us on Thursday when we go. And um, if that drizzle would turn into an actual nice little soaking rain, I would be happy and just come out tomorrow and <laughs> and spray the neem oil again. That would make me happy to do that. So we're going through a couple of those tubs, a, yeah, about two tubs a day right now, planting across the road and trying to hydrate everything over here. Our goal is to have enough cash in our reserves by spring to, um, to buy um, an irrigation system, at least for one side of the road or the other. But uh, I tell you what, farming is, I do see some leaf mold down there. See it? Chelsea sprayed, so it should be put in check, I hope. I hear our little um, pollinators coming out now. She tried to get in the neem oil spray before they start, and she didn't spray the blooms. She just sprayed the leaves. So hopefully... We won't be damaging our little buddies. But anyway, we're still in that learning curve um, phase. <laughs> I'm beginning to think the learning curve is going to be, you know, lifelong from here on out. But that's okay. That's okay. We all need to be learning something all the time. I think that's a good thing. But uh, anyway, y'all, I'm going to come up here and start my little pump and turn on my little valve and get started. And there's Pops. He's already outside doing something. He keeps our water tote filled for us. That man is so amazing. He's wonderful. I love him to the moon and back. Look at the beautiful barn and the clouds. I love where I live. I hope you do too. And I hope your day is wonderful and beautiful. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.